Popular entertainment. Racing through the labyrinth of the mind quickly and coming out with the answer quick first. I'm going to mention an aspect of media which I've been working on a good deal lately. And I have a preface to a new book which begins, All of man's artifacts of language, of laws, of ideas, hypotheses, tools, clothing, computers, all of these are extensions of our physical bodies. Hans Haas, in The Human Animal, sees this human power to create additional organs as an enormity from the evolutionary standpoint, an advance laden with unfathomable consequences. The laws of the media are observations on the operation and effects of human artifacts on man and society, since, as Hans Faust further notes, a human artifact is not merely an implement for working upon something, but an extension of our body effected by artificial additional organs, with which, to a greater or less degree, we owe our civilization. One thing overlooked by Hans Haas is the absence of biological or psychological means of coping with the effects of our own technical ingenuity in creating new organs. The problem is clearly indicated in some simians in man's presumptuous brain, when he says that when, about half a million years ago, man began slowly to embark upon the road to cultural advance, an entirely new situation arose. The use of implements and the control of fire introduced artifacts of which the cortex could be avail itself for purposes of living. These artifacts had no relationship whatever to the organization of the body and could therefore not be integrated into the functioning of the brainstem. What Simmons is saying is that our natural responses to media and to technology are irrelevant. That we cannot trust our instincts or our natural physical responses to new things. They will destroy us. How are we to uh, bypass or offset the merely physical response to new technology and new environments created by new technologies. This problem has not been raised by anybody, except that we have to live with it every day. Edgar Allan Poe has a story called The Descent into the Maelstrom, which this came in his final television appearance, a lecture in the spring of 1979 at York University in Toronto. He had begun to look at all human artifacts, as he called them, from the earliest tools to the electric media, including computers, as extensions of the human body and the human nervous system, and as components of a human evolution such as Darwin could have never imagined. But Teilhard de Chardin had imagined such a thing. And I think it's entirely possible that... Teilhard de Chardin is a little more aware of the meaning of the electronic than Darwin could possibly have been. McLuhan might have been about to make explicit the convergence of his thoughts with those of the great Jesuit mystic. I'm going to mention an aspect of media which I've been working on a good deal lately. 